Come a little closer. If he wanted to, he would trust me. Truth is, a man will keep you in his life because you are useful. There is something that draws him to you, but that is not a strong enough reason for him to want to marry you. So don't think that you can continue to be good and expect his mind to be changed. Please try not to give the man wife privileges when you're still dating. There are Instagram couples that you just look and say, God, when? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. My name is Sharon. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is slightly different, but it's something that I see myself doing more often. So I think sometime in 2020, I started a series called Chat with Shaz. And it was basically like relationship talks. So I was already talking about what do you bring to the table before people started talking about what to bring to the table, just to put it out there. <laughs> I really enjoyed it because I received a lot of questions from girls who were dating. At the time I wasn't married, but I was um, quoting my husband. I kind of want to bring it back. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I just feel like it's a season where people are in their feels. It could be sad or happy for some people. And I just really wanted to make this video to one, encourage you and two, to also save your time. So today's topic is if he wanted to, he would. And it's basically centered around men wasting women's time. And I really wanted to have my husband here film with me, but he's out of town. But I did get some pointers from him and also from my personal experience and from my friends as well. So this video is all rounded. Okay, I've collected data from everywhere. If you are in a long term relationship or just someone who started recently started dating and you're looking to find out the trajectory of the relationship then i think the tips i'll be sharing in this video will help another disclaimer this video is for one a healthy man who has done the work on himself and he's ready for marriage secondly it's for a healthy woman who's done the work to heal or is in the process of healing or has identified that there's certain things about your character that you need to work on because let's call it spade a spade sometimes as human beings not even as women as human beings we feel like we don't need to work on ourselves and whenever you know there's a breakup or any misunderstanding we just blame the other person we don't do self-reflection so just to put that out there you've done the self-reflection you know that you are ready for marriage and you will be a gift to that man a lot of times i've noticed that women make excuses for men and trust me sis if he wanted to he would if he wanted to call you he would if he wanted to book that brunch or date night he would i'm going to be speaking in terms of marriage right so dating someone leading to marriage here's how to tell if he's actually considering marrying you firstly his actions will match his declared or expressed intentions so a lot of times men talk when my husband and i first started speaking you know the first week he was like oh i want to marry you and i just told him oh guy relax okay you're not the first sometimes men like to dangle the marriage key just to get women excited now i know my husband was genuine of course but because we have a biological clock i feel like sometimes they just kind of mess with us and they know that that's what we want to hear every single thing my husband did after that statement aligned with the desire to marry me if he says he wants to marry you then his actions would expose if he's telling the truth or telling a lie and that's why you have to have the spirit of the sermon i'm a christian so this video is obviously gonna have some christian um what's the word reference have very low tolerance for men that waste women's time honestly because we have a biological clock like let's call a spade a spade an 80 year old man could marry a 25 year old woman and it's acceptable in society and she could still give birth but if reverse were the case the woman can't give birth yes i know there's a lot of like advancement in the medical field right now but still biologically we are at a disadvantage so please men do not waste a woman's time and this then leads on to my next point actually it takes one conversation or one interaction for a man to know if he can marry you you don't need to be dating for five years 10 years he knows if he can marry you after a few months or even a week of speaking to you now i've spoken to a couple of guys my husband included and they all said the same thing so what do i mean by it takes one conversation or one interaction when my husband and i first started speaking the first week of us speaking obviously we're friends 
but we asked well he asked me a lot of questions and I didn't know at the time but he was like observing my response I also asked him asked him some questions as well like you know what do you think about tithing and if for example God tells me to gift my new car to my pastor how are you going to feel about that important questions that can be asked at the early stage when you guys are not in love you're still friends probably i'll do a video about questions to ask before you get married we both asked ourselves very important questions and you know one of which from his end was what what do i expect from him as a husband what is my role as a wife what is the dynamic of an ideal home just questions like that to find out how I function and also I was trying to find out how he functions because honestly I didn't want to mind that would stress me <laughs> after we became really close he told me that in one week of knowing me he decided that he was going to marry me because of my response and secondly when we first met um in Ghana he also observed how I was with my finances and how I was with his finances and how I treated other people so all those things the conversation plus interaction solidified his decision right so most men know they have a list and they check to see if you tick this list another disclaimer this is a man who is financially stable he is mentally spiritually physically emotionally psychologically ready for marriage this is not a high school relationship or uni relationship where of course you have to date for like five six years so you graduate and start your life this is a man who is set you know he is ready for marriage there's nothing holding him men like that typically don't take two three years dating a woman except there is something maybe she's in school now if there's no reason at all honestly i don't think he wants to marry you and you're probably wondering if he's not going to marry me why am i still in his life truth is a man will keep you in his life because you are useful there's a purpose you're serving in his life it could be you're helping out with his finances you're a good cook there is something that draws him to you, but that is not a strong enough reason for him to want to marry you. So don't think that you can continue to be good and expect his mind to be changed. If he's decided he's not going to marry you, it will take God coming down <laughs> to convince him to change his mind. I read this article a while back and honestly, I don't know if it's true or not. So please comment um if you've seen this statement before if it's true or false but the article stated that a man's love is typically a flat line it doesn't increase it only decreases and the reason was because men typically maintain the same level of love through the entire relationship because at the beginning they really really love you that's why they pursue you or they really like you right but it starts to decrease because I don't know, maybe they fall out of love or whatever, but it hardly ever increases because that flat line is actually a high level of love, if that makes sense. But a woman's love is a steep line. Our love grows. And I agree, our love definitely grows. Number three, he talks about future plans with you and he wants you to chime in. Now, I know men can be all talk. That's why I said the first point his actions should match his declared intentions. But a man who sees you in his future would ask you questions about your goals and see how your goals and his goals merge together. Now, I'm not talking about fairy tale future plans, guys. I'm talking about real life situations, okay? He's also trying to prepare for you. This leads on to my next point, which is he will start to prepare his life consciously or unconsciously to accommodate a wife. I say unconsciously for trivial issues like let's say he's at the grocery store and he sees this pot he wants to buy and it's orange and then he remembers you telling him how much you like orange so he decides to buy the orange pot because he wants to make you feel good when you're cooking and consciously for more serious issues like his finances how is his debt situation he begins to work extra hard to clear off his debt and to make sure that he can provide for you he begins to take on the role as a husband not just someone looking for a wife he will make decisions with you in mind he will consider how whatever decision he makes affects both of you's future lastly now this point might be a little bit controversial for some people but He's not so much interested in decorating you physically. 
He cares more about your growth, your healing. If you have a business, your education, that will be his top priority and not getting you a Chanel bag or a designer shoe or whatever. He wants to make sure that you are whole. How is your spiritual life? How is your, you know, mental state, your psychological state? Do you need a therapist? Do you need you know, you need to go back to school. Those things will occupy his thoughts more than anything else. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely have both, okay? And you will have both. If a man sees that you're into designer purses and, you know, that makes you happy, he will get you that because he wants to make you happy. However, he's more interested in other things. I'll give you an example. When I met my husband, the lady you see here who looks put together and happy, I was not this. This is God, firstly, but also my husband investing in me. I was very negative. I had very low self-confidence. Honestly, I don't even know how my husband ended up with me because he's a person that is super confident. He's very optimistic. He's a go-getter. He's just the opposite of me then. I think he's rubbing off on me now. And I used to push him away. I told him, listen, I have a long way to go when it, when it comes to like self-work and you seem like you have your life figured out. I don't want to pull you back. And this man kept on sending me articles, books, paying for trainings for me or the therapist, things that will help me be better because he saw who I could be. He saw who God has called me to be and he wanted to invest in me to make sure that I become that woman. To him, that was his top priority. Even till this day, if I'm struggling with something and I just mentioned it to him in passing, he will stay up late doing research just so that by the morning, he has an answer or a solution for me. He pays attention to little things and men typically don't like little details. So if a man pays attention to the slightest things you say, then that is a good sign that he's invested in you. And, you know, most times as women, we want the grand gestures, like little things don't really move us because they're not Instagrammable. But trust me, the little things matter the most, okay? Because it comes from a place of genuinity. Is that a word? Genuine, genuineness? Genuinity? He's genuine. That's what I'm trying to say. And especially this season that is Valentine's, you know, there's going to be a lot of comparison on social media. This husband did this for this wife. He got her a designer shoe purse. He got her a new car, a bouquet of flowers that cost $500, whatever it is. And if your man only buys you a plastic rose and it came from a place of genuine love and care, this is all he can afford. He even went above and beyond just to make you happy. If that's what he can afford, please appreciate it. Don't compare your relationship, your marriage to social media. Social media is a twisted reality, okay? I've seen people that had grand proposals. They're Instagram couples that you just look and say, God, when? But when you hear what's going on inside the marriage or the relationship, you will be grateful for your own situation so please don't compare anything you see on instagram the bible says he who is faithful in little things will be faithful in bigger things if he's doing this for you with the little he has trust me when he has more he will do more guys one thing marriage has taught me is that if you tell your husband to do something and he says oh okay okay or there's a little bit of delay don't stress yourself. Don't ask him too much. Get on your knees and pray to God. There's been things that I've prayed. I've called my husband's name <laughs> and tabled his matter to God and said, God, I want my husband to do this or be like this. And I kid you not. Some things I even mentioned to him, some things I didn't. I just took it to God directly. And sometimes in a week, in months, he starts to do the things. He starts to become, you know, what I prayed for. And I just look at God and I just laugh. And sometimes I laugh. I think he doesn't even understand why. But there is nothing you can't ask God for. Like, be specific. Be as specific as possible. Don't beat around the bush. Tell God what you want. I share the testimony. I told God I wanted a man from Anambra State. My, my husband is from Anambra State. And some other things I also ask God for. <laughs> 
and he gave me that you know so i believe that god has good plans for us we're his children you've been faithful to god trust me god wants to bless you so don't feel shy or embarrassed for asking god for exactly what you want in a spouse like listen right away okay <laughs> write that list i know dating and courting can be very tricky and very draining but i just i'm just tired of men wasting women's time like it's not fair i've seen men date for years they date this date this particular girl for years they don't marry her they they break up and then they meet another girl six months later they're married and you're wondering how why because they never plan to marry the first girl to begin with and another thing is as women please try not to give the man wife privileges when you're still dating because he's gonna interpret that as oh i don't need to wife her because i'm already getting all the goodies and all the advantages from you know just dating her so tone it down if you're acting like a wife to a boyfriend yes as women uh christian women we are already wives we don't need to be married to be a wife the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing so you are already a wife as a proverbs 31 woman but it doesn't mean that you should be a wife to every man until you go to god and he puts a ring on your finger then you can now open up and allow him to enjoy the good thing which you are i really pray that god helps us to be more discerning to know which relationships to push the brakes or which relationships to continue and i pray that he sends us his soldiers men that know him men that love him men that would seek him first and focus on him and not even us because if a man loves god then god will reveal to him how you should be loved how he should love you if he doesn't know god then how what does he know love to be god is love the love of christ is sacrificial and as a man he should have sacrificial love for his wife so i really do pray that god brings the right kind of men to anyone watching this video and believing god for his spouse i pray that you would not settle but you will continue to wait on God for a godly man and not just a good man. And to anyone watching this video who has had their time wasted by a man and you're currently hurting and you're wondering where to go where to go from here, I pray that God comforts you this season. I pray that God wipes away your tears. The Bible says joy comes in the morning. And I pray that your morning shall come in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that looks like, he will turn your tears to laughter. It will heal your broken heart and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video. I know it was really long. Um, this is one of those videos that she's just like a girl chat, like a big sister <laughs> chatting with you. Um, it's really late. If my face is oily, I'm off to wash it and go to bed now. I filmed this wig video today. I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye.